Okay, and now this is the interview Q and A. And for the person watching this, the video camera is slightly at an angle because I got my words and questions in front of me and the other stuff. Or we could just go, we'll, we'll just try like this. So, anyhow, here we go. Start. Question one is tell me about yourself. To tell you about myself, I graduated from RF Staples doing ADLC, which is Alberta Distance Learning, in 2013, which to say was not actual in class, but correspondence or homeschool, I think you know about that. And then since October 31st, 2022, I have been taking the audio post-production course uh, with the Autism Cantech program at Norquest. And if you don't know what that is, it is an audio post-production course with two months of employabilities and then two, well, then a transition of one month to a two month audio post-production period to another two months of work experience. And then in the past, I did 3D animation with Blender, but I stopped because the computer I was using, it got too slow and laggy, I don't know. But, 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 if I had a better computer, I would get back to it, oh yes. Because it is so much fun bringing an image to a life. But along with that computer aspect of me, I also do YouTube videos and TikTok. So me, I know how to edit videos, but not just the editing, there's also the audio. So I have a bit of a head start with the audio post-production course. And then the next thing is my work and volunteer experience, because that was my education, which as far as my employment goes, I have had two main jobs that really stick out which are working at a bee farm and at a save on food. And then at a bee farm, I was in the building getting the honey out of the frames that the people went out in the field and collected. Then at save on foods, I was in a customer service position doing carts, baskets and returns, bagging and whatever else anyone needed help with. And that is my work experience and then next up is my volunteer which during the summers I have done many festivals such as Folk Fest, Gay Day, Taste of Edmonton's and many more as well as some winter festivals like Ice on White. But also, also, I have done CJSR doing digitizing which is putting CDs on the computer and sorting the CDs themselves. And then last, I have also volunteered at a cafe called Tasty Buds where I made sandwiches, worked tills, made soups, cleanings, which is in the restaurant field, so I have a bit of know-how there. And that is everything I will tell you about myself for now. And then next up <clears throat> is my top three strengths. In a digital economy, I know there is three, one, two, three strengths that would help further myself, which are computer skills, following directions, and a team player, but allow me to explain on those. Starting with one, we have computer skills, which can get me to where I want to go, because from everything I have done on the computer, such as my videos and animations, I know how to edit video and audio so that the end product is not just what I was hoping for, but also who I am doing the work for. But then, as far as the animation goes, I know the proper procedure to take a simple mesh such as a plane or a cube or a cylinder and move it in ways so that it turns into a character that I could potentially be being paid to make. So that's pretty good. And then two, when it comes to following directions, I am strong in that district because if someone was to ask me, they want something done of me in a way that they want, 
I will do it that way because I have gotten instructions on how to do it and I do not have to create my own process out of nowhere up on the fly, which I'm okay with, but it's just easier with having a set of instructions. With that, those ones who have given me directions might be paying me as well. So I make sure the job is done correctly so that me, I do not make them feel bad for paying me and therefore I do not let them down. And then three, and last is teamwork skills because is something to consider because if a bunch of people are doing something and they need assistance, I have no problem, no problem, jumping right on in to help get the job done. Or if I see there is someone who is not doing very good at their job, I jump in and help them do their job so the end product is the way they want it to be, <clears throat> the way it wants to be, and probably help them learn something. Therefore, those are all strengths that is what I think can further further me in a digital economy. And then three, we have my biggest areas for improvements. Now, when it comes to improvements uh, in the workforce, there is one area that I sure find, yeah, I sure find, does need improvement, and that is taking feedback. Because, because, when I get feedback, I do not use it right then and there. Instead, for the first moment or so, I get a little angry about it, like they're trying to attack me, until, until I cool down and realize, oh, I realize what good that feedback could do for my work. And then, one way I know of improving on this is to not immediately think of it as an attack when I hear it, but pause and think of how it could be beneficial for my work. Oh yeah! And then number four, I believe, yes, is I would say my greatest accomplishment. And that is when me, I figured out how to use Da Vinci Resolve. Because of all the other editing programs I was using to edit videos, they were not that good and effective, I don't know. But when I came across DaVinci Resolve, I was like, oh, that's nice, I like it. So I downloaded it, and in order to give it a try, I learned how to use it, and I knew by just trying to figure it out, it would take quite a while. So what I did was I went on YouTube, and I looked up tutorial after tutorial. And then, when I found a good one, I watched a bit, wrote a bit, did a bit, and just continued that till I figured out how to work. And then when I figured out, I was having a much better time editing videos because it is much more advanced editing pro. Yeah. And then, number five is what do I hope to learn from this work experience? And of the many things I could learn from this work experience, there are several specifics that I really hope would happen. And they are, one, from the audio editing programs I learned, I could learn other tricks and tips within them so that it'll make my work easier and I'll be able to do things that I thought never knew existed. Holy moly! And then two, number two, I would get to know others in the industry for not just, you know, friends or work purposes, but relationships that could help further myself or them. Yeah. And then three is another source of pride for myself because I would be able to look back on my work and be happy and glad I did that. So that next time it comes to do that, I'll be able to do that with a much 
better job of it. Holy moly. And then four, it would give me a chance to show not just my superiors, but also those around me what else I have to offer besides just what they're seeing me do. And then five, and last, is in the right position, like if it was at a game making company, like Beamdog on at Edmonton here, I could take other routes besides audio post production. Because, you know, I'd be in an environment where we'd be doing things like 3D animation and I could show them examples of my work, which could probably take another route. Who they do? And those there are the interview questions. So, that's it. How long was it?